Good evening, Whalers fans. I'm here tonight with head coach of the Danbury Whalers, Phil Esposito. We are coming out of a win over the Dayton Demons, 9-4. to What makes this win so unique tonight is that this is not only the first time beating them at home, this is the first time beating Dayton this entire season. And as you know, we're coming down to the end of the season. So, uh, Coach, do me a favor. Could you please just talk about the team's performance overall tonight? Well, basically we played a 60-minute hockey game, something that I've been trying to get these guys to do uh, all, all year long. Um, we've been concentrating on, you know, playing playing both ends of the arena and making sure that, that our defensive zone coverage is, is, is first and foremost. And, and tonight we proved that. I mean, we, we did exactly what the game plan was. We, we, we played the way we wanted to play. We dictated the play. And we, and we basically, we, the, we played the game plan to a tee tonight, and, and it worked out in our, in our favor. Absolutely. And as you can tell from tonight, the numbers speak for itself. What do you think it will take for the team to continue the rest of the season playing like they did tonight? Well, like I said, I, I think right now we're starting to peak right at the right time. We're coming into, you know, the last nine games of the season. Now after this one, we have eight left, and we're trying to, uh, you know, just kind of get every everybody, all the Pistons firing at the same time, and I think it's starting to happen right now. I mean, we got a lot of guys back from the East Coast League, and, and we got a lot of additions now to the team, and that's the first time we've actually played that team with a full, full roster. Like the last couple of times, we had a lot of guys hurt, a lot of guys called up and everything else. So, you know, it was just one of those things when we got everybody together and we put it all together that the puzzle kind of all fell back to, in, in place. Yet again, the season's roster has changed up until this point. Um, right now, are you satisfied with the roster? We've seen it change a lot since the beginning of the season and the last couple weeks again. Yeah, no, I mean, yeah, I'm, I mean, we're getting there. We're probably 95% of the way there. I think we're going to have a couple more additions coming in the next couple weeks. And then, uh, you know, hopefully we'll get it all put together right before the playoffs. So, um, you know, it's just one of the, I mean, we got a lot of good guys here and everybody's playing really well right now and everybody's playing the system and, and that's all I can ask them and, and then obviously this is the outcome. And we are winding down to the rest of the season. We don't have a lot of games left up. Playoffs are right around the corner. Has the team developed where you thought it'd be at this point? Yeah, I, I think I think we did. I, I, you know, this is kind of the, the situation that I, I've been working towards is getting the guys to play, you know, the, the way we wanted them to, the, the way the, the way the system is designed and the way the, the, the program is set up. And, um, you know, we're coming down and, and like I said, we got those additions with like Pisano coming back and now we got Kelly Miller that's going to be back next weekend after he gets off that shoulder injury and, and you know, that's exactly where we want to be. It's the same situation we were in last year going into the playoffs and we, and we made it to the finals, but this year, you know, we got to finish it off. It's looking good, guys. Um, we have a lot of stuff coming up. It's going to be very exciting. So, Coach, thank you for summing that up for us. Congratulations on the win tonight over Dayton. And not only was it a win, it was a win by a long run, 9-4. to four. So thank you very much, Coach. Good luck the rest of the weekend. Thank you.